Welcome to another in our series of Hallelujah Gardening Guides. Today we're going to take a look at small fruit. We're going to take you back a year ago and show you what these plants looked like when we first planted them 12 months ago and show you the amazing growth that has taken place since then. Here you see blueberries. I planted 47 of them uh, past Saturday. And uh, they're very tiny at this point. They're, they came in one gallon containers. And um, they're already budded out, as you can see. But these little tiny blueberry bushes will bear fruit this year. And ultimately, they will reach a height of five to six feet. And they will totally fill in the area around my driveway. Blueberries are one of the easiest uh, berries to grow. Um, they require very little maintenance. Um, you do need to try to keep uh, soil available to them. Um, but they're expensive. When you go to the store and you buy just a little pack of blueberries, you'll find they may cost 4 to $5. And yet, you'll have them more than you can eat. I, I'll have 47 bushes of them. Uh, we'll be able to serve half of uh, Shelby here when we get finished with them. I like blueberries a lot because they're decorative. In the fall, they will have beautiful yellow, orange, and, and red foliage. And so um, they, they are not only something that's edible, but something that's very decorative and very attractive to your landscape. You see six grape plants have been planted here. Um, they look like sticks right now, but they will climb up onto that trellis, and uh, these grapes will have huge clusters of grapes. They'll probably start bearing maybe this year, but probably for sure next year. They'll bear for 50, 60 years. They're very rewarding fruit in your uh, edible landscape, and um, I just love going out and picking a fresh grape right off the vine. We use it to make grape juice uh, in our juicer. And um, there's nothing finer than your own grape juice squeezed in your own juicer right in your own home from your own garden. What you see here are the blackberries that have just been planted. Uh, it looks just like a little stick. But from the root, um, it will send up many, many shoots. And these shoots will get four to five feet in length. And they're thornless. Uh, which is very, very important because it's hard to harvest uh, a berry that has thorns on the vine. The fig trees um, pretty well are limited to your southern climates, and uh, they are absolutely delicious, but fresh off the vine is the very best. These are two apple trees. One is a liberty. The liberty is especially uh, important for me because it requires very little spraying. And these uh, apple trees will bear probably in about two years. They'll start bearing. These are little bigs. Uh, they're miniature apples. They'll only grow about 12 feet in height. This is something that anybody can do. They're easy maintenance. I mean, I have a very, very busy schedule, and yet I find no problem maintaining uh, this edible landscape. Isn't it amazing to look at them a year ago and see the growth that has taken place in just the past 12 months. I want you to also notice the number of blueberries that are already on the plant and ready for harvesting in about four to six weeks. And um, this year we will um, already, just one year from planting, have a wonderful crop of delicious blueberries and um, the, these will be wonderful in our smoothies as well as other uh, and we love to take them and just pop them in our mouth frozen, uh, frozen blueberries. And so we trust that you, if you have some room, will plant some blueberry bushes around your house. We've used them around our driveway. And uh, we've got 47 of them um, lining our driveway here in the villages of Hallelujah Acres. Okay, let's go look and see if some other things that we planted last year and what kind of growth they have experienced. I imagine many of you have gone into the woods and seen wild blackberries um, and, and the thorns that are on them. Well, these are blackberries, but they're thornless. They have no thorns. And you've also seen the size of the blackberries that grow in the wild. They're, they're maybe as large as your pinky, but these will grow as large as your thumb. 
Already this year, you can see we have a number of blossoms upon them. And over here, you will see some little blackberries already starting to form. And these will grow and develop into a blackberry um, that will be uh, bigger than your thumb. They are delicious. They are sweet. We like to freeze them and have them and enjoy them for many, many months uh, to come. And so these are thornless blackberries. They produce an abundant crop. They're very easy to use, uh, to, to grow rather, and they have no thorns upon them so that when you pick them, you're not getting pricked with all those prickers. And so we're going to go and take a look at another one of these uh, fruiting trees, um, th these miniature fruits that we planted last year. My goodness. I love figs, don't they're you? They're so wonderful. Wow, I'm so glad. Look how big this grew from last year. This is amazing. Where is the fruit? I tell you what, we've got to find some fruit out of this thing. I like this. We'll have to come back when the fruit's ready. Must be going to be coming up pretty soon, don't mm -hmm. you think? You would think so. What in the world are you guys doing in my fig tree? Uh-oh. I think we got caught. I think we got caught. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're looking for the fruit. We like There's this. There's no fruit there yet. It's too early in the season. Well, you got to give it time to grow and produce <laughs> some fruit. We came at the wrong time. You came at the wrong time. And I won't tell you the right time to come either. <laughs> you come and steal my, my figs. This thing, is, this thing is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Yep. This will grow really into a huge bush. And um, it will just have figs hanging on it all over the place. And these figs um, not only are wonderful fresh, but you can dry them and have dried figs all winter long. Oh. And I, I bet you growing your own, it's a much different taste than what you buy in the store. Oh, they're absolutely delicious. And um, right here in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, you have several trees. What, four or five of them? We right have here? three figs. Okay. And uh, this one over here, okay. this one couldn't handle the cold this winter, and it died back, and we thought it was dead. And lo and behold, a few weeks ago, up from the root, came a new, nice strong stalk as you uh -huh. can see, and um, because of the extensive root system that it has, this will probably get four or five feet high just this year. Wow. And it'll have a lot of figs on it also. From it grow dying back like that, will it outgrow some of the other ones, do you think? I wouldn't be surprised. Because the heavier root system. Because it has such a wonderful root system already wow. established. That's neat. So, um, Very know, hardy it, plants. They're, 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 yeah, these are brown turkeys and um, they are quite a hardy for a fig and it's the one we recommend um, for a climate that gets some cold weather. A little bit, yeah. yeah. That's like right. Like we do here in wow, North Carolina. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, these are really neat. I love to see how much they've grown since just last year. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Really that's exciting. right. Well, we know when to come back now. Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, I'll, I'll know when to post the guards. Yeah. That's right. That's neat. Well, thanks for letting thanks. us uh, try. Oh, yeah. yeah. As, as long as you're here, let's look at some other things we planted last year. I want to take you over to our grapes. Now, last year, these grapes were nothing but a stick. And, I remember uh, that, don't yeah, you? I do, yeah. They have grown from that stick all the way up to the wire, and then they have gone, and we allowed one to trail each way, and they're all the way filling up the entire length, each plant in the center of the wire. My goodness. This is beautiful from that little stick that you from had that going. little stick. And look at the baby grapes. Oh, it's just covered with baby grapes. Look at here. Yeah. Look at, look at all the little grapes. My goodness. That's incredible. And each one of those will grow into a bunch. Really? Of beautiful, beautiful grapes. That, uh, I, I love them. Um, and they're beautiful plants. Oh, yeah, you can see the the vibrancy of the green mm -hmm. and um, these are just a year from a stick and yeah there, there's the ten I the, love the, the little tentacles grab, the tentacles they grab yes. onto the wire and that's what uh, supports it and these will have hundreds of pounds of, of grapes and uh, those tentacles, tentacles will actually support and hold up look at how heavy they they become yeah they're very sturdy and they support um, that uh, He's incredible right. growth mm -hmm. and Look at weight. the difference between that one and the new one. Well, there's a new one right yeah. next oh, to it. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and just gosh. wraps around and, hold, and supports yeah, itself. Yeah, it supports itself. Yep. 
That's really neat. Look at all the, the shoots that it has. That's I mean, right. Well, these, these will probably be three feet long by the end of the season. Wow. Are these muscadine? Muscadine and scupinol. And yeah. scupinol. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Scupinol. They're, they're southern varieties. Yes. And the muscadine are really high in antioxidants. Oh, they? they're incredibly uh, high. And um, we, we are taking and making out of the skins and out of the seed um, some wonderful health, uh, there's some wonderful health benefits. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have some of that, I believe, in the Halley Acres soaps. We do we in sure our soaps. Have. We, have, we have some of the muscadine extract. Isn't that yes. incredible? Yes. And it's because of the anti high antioxidant. Yeah. So we're nourishing the body not only internally through the consuming of the food, but externally by putting Halley soaps, so nourishing how, soaps. So how long will it take these bunches to grow up to be? Oh, it'll be fall. Fall? Okay. It'll be fall. Okay. okay. So you have several months. I have several months for them to to get, obtain their size. And in the process, this will just fill out and grow? Oh, this will just be a, a, a massive vine. And then in the winter time, after they've harvested, then we take each one of these, and maybe this will be two or three feet long, and we cut it back to a two or three inch. Oh my. From its base, so that this will just be little stubs um, for the winter. And then in the spring, then they just come and, and well, you can see what they're, they're doing. Um, from that beginning that they had um, just a few, a few weeks ago. Do you ago. see more and more growth each year as the root system gets stronger? Well, you don't see a lot more growth because they can only grow so much. You okay. keep cutting them you back. You keep cutting and, them back. And, and, and so it's a mass every year. Hmm. Um, but you've got to prune them back or you're not going to get the, the harvest. That's okay. really neat. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us. That's yes. neat. You're welcome. What else do you have? And, and by the way, <laughs> You stay out of my... You said, you said fall, so you're safe for a couple months. <laughs> Amen. Before we go and look, look at our next fruit tree, we're going to see what Willie has for us. Hi, I'm Willie at Hallelujah Acres with another quick tip for you to um, ensure that you can plant your garden early. One thing you can do is to rake your garden soil up into berms, little hills that run the length of your bed. And as you do this, um, the soil being higher like this is exposed to more sunlight and it'll actually warm sooner. It'll also help it drain if you live in an area where you've got a lot of rainfall and your soil's very wet. And then once the soil warms up and it's ready to plant, you can plant right in those hills and that'll get you off to a good early start with your garden. And that's another quick tip from Hallelujah Acres. Thank you, Willie, for that great tip. And now to conclude this session, we want to talk about some of the other things that we planted last year. We're going to talk about the uh, fruit trees. And um, this happens to be an apple tree. And uh, it's probably doubled its growth in the past year. Uh, surprisingly, it had blossom on it this year. Oh. And it even set three little apples but we picked them off. It was hard to pick them off, but we want all the energy to grow into growing the plant and making it strong. And so we removed the fruit uh, the first couple of years from it. Um, over here, we have another apple tree that we planted last year. And um, these um, shoots coming out from the side um, will be the bearing uh, branches. Um, you'll notice they're coming out almost straight you don't want the branches that come in out close and are strong um, because they are not uh, going to produce the same amount of fruit. But these ones that are um, um, come out almost totally straight out from the stalk, uh, from, from the, the uh, stalk, I want to call it. Um, stem? Stem or, 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 or trunk. Trunk, of the tree. trunk. <laughs> trunk is what I was looking for. Um, these are the ones that will become the fruit bearing. So do you prune leaves. the other ones away? Um, yeah, you only want one leader to come up here. Um, this here, this one here, you can see is also coming almost straight up and this one here is coming straight up. One of those has to go because if you have two leaders, then they both start sending out these side shoots. So. Wow. We want to so just keep it you'll the prune, center. You'll prune one off. And we'll prune one off, okay. yep. And this up here, it's a pear tree. And uh, it's where the partridge. I was thinking, <laughs> where's the partridge? That's partridge right. in the pear tree. But this is an Asian pear, and they are uh, about the size of an apple. And they are absolutely delicious. Asian pears are one of our favorite yeah. varieties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so these are coming along. 
Um, also this year in another part of the garden we planted our, a peach tree and we planted a cherry tree and we planted a persimmon tree. Oh, fine. Wow. So this is um, edible landscaping that we are producing here at our home here in the villages of Halley Acres. And so we, while we've got the fancy things um, that most people have and the showy things, we've got a lot of things in here that we can eat. How long before like the pear will be? I wouldn't be surprised fruit? if we don't get a few pears next year. Next really? year. Really? Yeah. So that'll be the, the second, second full year. Yep. The second mm, or, really or the third year. And right. you don't need a second pear tree to produce the fruit. No, it's self-pollinating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Self-fertile, they call it. So. Wow. We trust that um, this has been interesting to it you is. folks, and I want you to stay out <laughs> of my garden. <laughs> well, when you're not here, you don't know, do you? <laughs> yeah, but you'll leave a telltale sign because I keep, Missing count, fruit. I keep count of all my food. Well, we'll do our best. <laughs> okay. No promises, though. <laughs> well, till next time, this is George Malkmus. AM. And, and PM. PM saying goodbye and God bless you. <laughs>